and the oven started on fire. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a busy day as always, but unlike other days, it's not boring sit at my desk on my computer busy. It's more going out and doing stuff busy. So I figured I would take you guys along. So it is about 11 right now. I had two classes this morning, but now I'm all done with classes for the day. So that is all out of the way. A nice thing is that now that fall break is over, all of our classes are virtual for the next three weeks. So I did have two classes this morning, but they were over Zoom, so it really wasn't that bad. I didn't have to get all ready and leave the house. So I'm going to eat some lunch and then I do need to go on campus and deliver some packages and do things like that. So like I said, I'm busy, but it's going out and doing stuff, so it should be a little bit more exciting. Also, before I eat lunch, I just wanted to say I am loving my short hair. So before I started YouTube, it was in like August and it's December now, I got my hair cut and I've been trying to grow out my hair since like middle school. Like I just always wanted really long hair and I always put heat on my hair so it doesn't grow really fast. Let me scoot back real quick to show you. So in August, my hair was probably all the way down here and with quarantine and everything, it wasn't going anywhere. So I just threw it up in a bun or a ponytail every day cause it was a pain, it was so much hair. So now it's super short and it hasn't been this short in like 10 or 15 years, which is so crazy. It makes me feel so old, you know? But it is so low maintenance. Like it takes me like less than half the time it used to to do my hair, I just, get up and if I didn't shower that day like this morning I might just need to like touch up a couple pieces with my straightener but otherwise I can just like brush through it and it's done and when I had long hair I would wake up in the morning and it would look like I didn't even straighten it the day before because it was all bent and weird in places so I just wanted to say if you're considering cutting your hair short do it because I love it so much I also feel like it just makes me look older and since I'm graduating in a few months and going into like the real adult world I feel like I kind of fit in more I don't know anyway let's go eat some lunch Okay, so I have been getting tons of packages this week because I did a ton of online shopping over fall break. So I got one of my packages today and then I wanted to show you some of the ones that I got throughout the past week. I think this one is just like some food stuff I got on Amazon that I didn't get when I grocery shopped. Okay. so. I was running out of coffee, so I got some Starbucks breakfast blend. I have been drinking like the peppermint mocha and the holiday blend and you know, all the holiday stuff, but I really needed coffee and they were sold out on Amazon and I don't know, I like the breakfast blend, so I got that. Um, I never really liked Starbucks coffee until the past couple of months and now it's all that I drink, so. This is my absolute favorite tikka masala sauce. I get it from Amazon. I've tried sauce from like Walmart and stuff like that and nothing compares to this. So I would highly recommend this if you like tikka masala or you just wanna try it. So yes, Amazon. And I love to add chili powder to this just because I like it a little spicier. 
but I've always had it with like white rice or brown rice and then I'll add like chicken or shrimp but I think this weekend I'm gonna try it with riced cauliflower just to see if I like it because you know that's obviously better for you less carbs so we will try that out in the next few days okay and then this came in the mail yesterday and I'm so excited about it so I got this ornament for the tree and it's so cute it's these little polar bears and they say Dominic McKenna and Casper and I just think the little Casper is so cute it looks just like him yeah so this is my favorite ornament I got Christmas 2020 so that you know we can get one every year and see what year it was so so excited it's so cute okay next over fall break I bought all the Christmas presents for people that I needed to buy stuff for so those packages have all been rolling in but I also treated myself to some Black Friday sales I know that normally during the year I'll do like a mall trip and get a bunch of clothes and with COVID and everything I just haven't been to the mall in probably a year so I was like okay it's Black Friday there's big sales let me just treat myself and get some stuff so I have a bunch of clothes that I got for myself and a few more items I'm still waiting for but after that I'm gonna do a haul for you guys so I'm super excited to show you I'm also super excited to wear this stuff one of the things I already caved and wore but I'm trying to wait until I get the rest of the things and I can film the haul for you guys but yes uh, look forward to that in the near future. Okay, I'm gonna go ship those packages on campus now, but I wanted to show you a quick outfit of the day before I go. So I'm gonna back up and stand on this stool so that you can see me, because, yeah, you know. So, this sweater and this shirt are both from Kohl's, and then these jeans are just like ripped, like ankle jeans, and they are from Old Navy, and then these slippers are not part of the, part of the outfit, but... Um, yeah, so everything that I'm wearing, I got at least a year ago, and like I said, they're from Kohl's and Old Navy, which is actually where I got all of the clothes for my haul from Black Friday shopping, so I just love all their basics and stuff like that, so as you can see, I've had this for at least a year, so good quality stuff, uh, make sure to check out my haul when I post it. Okay, so I just packed the boxes, okay, what is happening with my hair, ignore that. Um, yeah, so I packed the boxes and so many things went wrong. It was so terrible. I didn't even finish. The room I was supposed to be in was being used. So I'm going to stop and get some coffee from my favorite coffee shop. That's like a block from my house. And I'll see you guys there. Okay, but why is a coffee shop closed at 2 p.m. in a college town? Also, they used to close at 5 because I used to go at like 4.30. So upset. Look at this dude. What are you doing? He always does this, trying to get on the bed. Yeah, you want to get up? And then five minutes later, he jumps off the bed and then he does it again. He's been doing it for like an hour. You can get up yourself, you know how. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll grab you. Chill. Are you happy now? Yeah? He literally stayed on the bed for 10 seconds and now he wants up again boy <laughs> yeah no so it is many hours later to be honest when I got home I just wasn't feeling it. I was 
not in a good mood I was kind of anxious so I was just like I need to do nothing I just need to take a step back so here's what I've been thinking about recently and I wanted to share it with you guys so I never used to be a morning person at all like my freshman year of college I would wake up 10 minutes before my class would start jump out of bed walk to class which was maybe five minutes away and I would get there like right when it starts like I would get every second of sleep in the morning that I could possibly get and this year is my busiest year by far so unconsciously I feel like I've kind of switched around my preferences like I will willingly get up at 6 a.m when I have a meeting at 7 a.m and give myself an hour to just wake up drink some coffee shower if I need to and it's really nice because I never feel rushed in the morning and I actually feel like I'm more productive in the morning than at night which probably isn't surprising because it's probably the same for most people but I used to like get up at maybe 9 or 10 and then be productive until like 10 p.m and now if I start being productive at 6 a.m I can stop being productive at dinner time and since I've been waking up earlier I just keep reminding myself like you are getting as much done as you would by waking up later so don't feel guilty if you give yourself time at the end of the day to do things that you enjoy does that make sense like instead of having a like 10 to 10 day and then going to bed right after i can have a six to six day and then i give myself some time at the end of the day where i can do things that i enjoy so that's kind of what i did today i just shifted it even earlier just because I needed it for my mental health so I probably had like a seven to two day but I'm gonna do a little bit right now I have church in about an hour zoom church so I don't have to like travel or go anywhere so I'm gonna plan out my day tomorrow hopefully be more productive tomorrow so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was interesting, like an interesting switch in my life going from not a morning person to a morning person and being conscious of me and my health and what I need to do to like keep myself from getting burnt out. So hopefully this helps some of you if you feel like that sometimes. So like I said, I'm going to plan a little bit. I have church in... I guess it's more like a half hour, but I'll just get ready for tomorrow. Um, I already put my, my PJs on, so I'm all comfy for the night and I'll go to church and then me and Dom will make dinner. He said he has plans later tonight with some of his friends, which is fine, but he just doesn't know what time. So hopefully we have time to make dinner after church before he hangs out with his friends, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I apologize for this weird lighting, but this is the best that we can do. So Dom is hanging out with his friends right now, but I'm starving. So I decided I'm just gonna cook without him. It takes like 40 minutes, so he might even be done by then. Also, my allergies are suddenly really bad. So sorry if I sound <laughs> disgusting. Okay, so of course tonight I'm gonna make another HelloFresh meal. So I'm gonna make the Tex-Mex beef and poblano enchiladas. And it's not like anything we've ever made before, so I'm excited to try it. So I took out the beef and now we're gonna see what's in the bag. This is always my favorite part. All right, we got some scallions, there's always scallions. looks like tomato paste. Mexican cheese blend. What were you doing in the shower? 
it's so weird. Casper just hopped in the bathtub. Tex-Mex paste. I don't know what that means. It looks like it's some sort of like tomato puree with a, a bunch of spices. It'll be good. Tortillas. Sour cream. A tomato. A poblano pepper, I assume. I've never had a poblano pepper before, but I love spicy things, so this will probably be really good. A lime. Warm and smoky Southwest Spice Blend. We'll see. Okay, so first I'm going to adjust the racks and then preheat oven to 475. Okay, well that is preheating. It looks like we make some sort of sauce. I need a bowl. Oh, actually first I need to cut up all the produce. So I'll do that. Okay, I just moved everything that wasn't produce so it wasn't in my way. Um, so I just washed everything and now I need to dice the tomato. The tomatoes are always so fresh and good. Like, you know how sometimes you cut tomatoes and they like fall apart because they're super juicy? These are always really, I don't know how to explain it, tender? I don't know. Okay, the tomato is diced, so now it says core the seed and dice the poblano. I guess we'll just try our best. Okay, so it's kind of like a green pepper, it looks like, like a bell pepper. So as you know, I was preheating the oven and the oven started on fire. Like my roommate came in and he was going to use the oven too and then flames just started in the oven. So we turned it off and we're letting all the smoke leave and then we're going to try to clean it once it's not hot anymore. But honestly, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do like it's definitely the stuff that's dirty on the bottom of the oven but i've never had an oven start on fire before so <laughs> we'll see in the meantime i guess i'll just starve i just left my like cut up veggies in the kitchen with the smoke because i needed to leave because it was getting hard to breathe okay i'm waiting for the oven to cool down so that i can like clean it out and hopefully it doesn't start on fire again but in the meantime, I finished cutting everything. So I have the pepper, the limes, and then I cut up tomato and scallions. So that's in the bowl, the tomatoes and scallions, and then salt, pepper, all one of the lime wedges, and then some oil. And then in a second bowl, we put sour cream with lime juice and then some water. Okay, so now it looks like I saute the poblano and then I do the beef. Okay, let's do those two things. So I just tried to spray the oven with some cleaner, like some cleaning spray because it felt like it was cool, but it's like steaming off the cleaning spray. So I guess I have to wait a little longer. So I guess our oven hasn't been cleaned in a long time and that's what caused the fire.
Okay, okay, a lot has happened. So I'm trying to preheat the oven again. It's still smoking a little bit, but like the kitchen isn't as bad as it was. So we're just gonna get through this meal and then clean it with like the self-cleaning thing. All right, there it goes. We're gonna try it out. I have the meat going with these things in it. Yeah. I added the peppers back in with the meat and now we're supposed to fill the tortillas with this mixture and then roll them up like enchiladas. Okay, now we are combining tomato paste, Tex-Mex paste, Southwest spice, and water, and then we pour it over the enchiladas and then sprinkle with the cheese. Okay, now we bake for three to five minutes and then we top with the cream and the pico that we made and then we're finally done. These look so good. So I normally have chicken enchiladas, but these beef is it? Yeah, beef enchiladas are so good. So it got super late, super fast. I actually just finished dinner and it's already 10.30 and I work at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna end the video here and lay in bed. So thank you so much for watching and for experiencing that very long and weird dinner experience, but it paid off, they were delicious. So um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then if you are subscribed, make sure to turn on the bell notification thingy so that you know when I post. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!